you know, when you look at the development of Clark K, and you see the, uh, the uh, and ladies and gentlemen, you should be able to see this in the video, the intense cement structures around it to contain the sand, to build it to a livable area, to build up, and, right. and all those kind of things. Certainly. Um, well, now there's the livable section, I guess the resort area of, right. of Mr. Poland's private island. Clark's K. But there's also a section, it looks like, uh, called Brick Point, where he seems to be developing. It appears that there is, there. Uh, yes, some, some future development. I, you know, potentially, I, I don't know it, the, the website doesn't describe it, but potentially, you know, rental places or yeah. maybe places for folks to come down and, yes. and visit. Now, know. that's a bit of a risk, especially with what's going on in Honduras lately. I, uh, well, s certainly uh, there's been a change in management. There seems to have been a change in management. <laughs> but um, it's, it's interesting. It's, it's still a bit of a risk. And um, I just, you know, I think we just have to salute Mr. Pullum for, again, his, his, just his business sense. And I see that uh, uh, a boathouse down there is a, is a new addition down there. And then they, they have a nice storage facility. There, there's a boathouse. There's, of course, the, the big house, I guess you'd call it. Is that right? right? The big house. Yeah, yeah and, and also, ladies and gentlemen, you'll, you'll note if, uh, and, and please, we encourage you to take the time to visit ClarksK.com. Yes. Uh, there's a lot of photos on there. There are some photos. And, uh, so maybe I, some familiar faces. You, you might see some folks that you know down there. Um, uh, apparently, they have a very active cantina down there, and uh, it, it is uh, certainly a beautiful place, and... Uh, you know, I'm I'm uh, I am I am tickled that uh, man's success has allowed him to do that, and uh, you know, hope every, hope everything works out. But by all means, ladies and gentlemen, go uh, go take a look, and once again, be sure to look for people that you know in some of those photos. I think you'll find it very interesting. Well, I, I thought the calendar was interesting too. The calendar, the calendar, certainly very interesting. Okay. Take the time to look at the calendar, ladies and gentlemen. I think it'll be very good, but you know, back back to our original point. Let me now let's let's step away from the island a moment there, Deborah. Uh, I, I, you know, I just can't believe. You know what what does it take? Now we're going to have more from that annual report as we work through it. We have right. We've not had the chance to go through it yet. Right. Absolutely. Uh, just you know, just thought I'd let you know. Top of the list there. Buy the rest of Bill Pullum's property. All right. And, well, and I'll just mention. Because um, we're going to have to talk about the zoo on next week's episode and what's going on with the zoo. And I'll just mention also we're talking about the $3.2, $3.1 million property we bought in East Milton from Bill Pullum. Had they taken that money and turned around and bought the property the zoo is sitting on, they would have relieved the zoo of about half their debt. Well, there's there's certainly some interesting things there. And, and then the county would have bought into the zoo. Right. We'll, we'll get into more detail yeah. on the next show. Yeah. But, but look... You know, I, I honestly I do not know why Team Santa Rosa, Gordon Gooden, Don Salter, and Bob Cole continue to fight the citizens of Santa Rosa County. It's a very simple process, guys. How much did the taxpayers spend? What actual jobs have actually occurred because of that? And if and if the answer is a lot of jobs, fine. If the answer is no jobs, then we need to discuss the taxpayer's investment. It, it, is, it is no different than, uh, I will guarantee you down at the uh, inspection department, uh, uh, Tim Talbert runs the inspection department and he expects his inspectors to inspect so many places a day. And no different than Avis Whitfield at the road department, he expects so many feet of pavement to be laid per day. We are not asking for rocket science here. We are asking about our investment. It's actually worse because those are government agencies and it's accepted in a government agency you're going to put money in and you're going to get intangible benefits that you can't necessarily um, quantify on a piece of paper out. Uh, we're told that Team Santa Rosa has to be designed as a private, public-private corporation, nonprofit. We're told that they have to work that way because Running it like a business is a superior way to run it. And as a, as a business owner, I can tell you that if you put more money into your business than you actually produce right. with your business, then you, and you end up in the red, your business doesn't last for long. Right. So if you're going to run it like a business and hide things from the public and so on and so forth, which has happened in the past, um, 
and, and you're going to just arbitrarily decide what salaries people are going to get, and there's no rhyme or reason for that, et cetera, et cetera, right. travel, that kind of thing, spending, yep. then you need to be um, sort of subject to the same Absolutely. laws on the other side of the business world, which is if you don't produce anything, right. you're out of business. I mean, I mean, look, I, you know, I'm not the only taxpayer in Santa Rosa County. I, I will tell you that in my circle, anytime there's a mention of Team Santa Rosa, it, there's a negative comment out of whoever I'm talking to. There is a, there's an issue of trust or, or not trusting numbers and things that come out of there. And this is just one more fine example of run in there two minutes before a county commission meeting, hand out these books, and say, if you have any questions, give me a call, and ran out of the park. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you this. I finished my comments up front, went and sat down in my chair. I asked Deborah to grab the camera and follow me, and I went outside, and the executive director of Team Santa Rosa and her assistant, Shannon Ogletree, had already almost got back to the Team Santa Rosa building. That's how fast they wanted to get away from there because they don't want to stand there and take any scrutiny from the taxpayers, which I think is sad. They're never going to accomplish anything unless they can withstand the scrutiny of their actions. Well, and it may be that you're looking at um, a function that is that's never going to produce anything. Right. I don't know. And, and, it, and at that point you ask, well, why am I pumping the money in? Well, I, you know, the, 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 the question is going to be asked and making sure that there's a public presentation of these numbers, whether it's good or bad. I, you know, look, I'm not picking on Team Santa Rosa. I'm looking out for the taxpayer's best yeah. interest. Well, I mean, we know, we know that when we put money into the roads department, we get roads blacktopped. Right. You know, we know that when we put money into schools, right. we have kids coming there's, out the there's other a, and There's a graduating. function. There's a exactly. function that is quantifiable. Exactly. And, and what we have not had is any quantifiable results from this organization. And every dime that they spend, uh, the $3.2 million that went to the pulling property, that's a cost of doing economic yes. development. Right. The 160, the 160 acre property, uh, widening of the roads and, and, and cutting the trees, right. plus all the office expenses and all that's all a cost of doing business in economic development. And it needs to be accounted for in a report that says, okay, for $2 million, we got X jobs out of the deal. Yes. And then, and then the taxpayers can decide if they want to continue to fund it. And we've not seen that yet. And, and once again, ladies and gentlemen, 983-1876, if you would like Gordon Gooden to have a public airing of the economic development numbers at a county commission meeting, please give Gordon Gooden a call and suggest that to him. Well, ladies and gentlemen, a very busy show. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the, um, the clips. We hope we've helped uh, educate and entertain you. Mainly, we hope that you enjoyed our trip to the island this week. I know I did. I'm Jerry Cooey. I'm Deborah Nelson. Good night.